What's going on everyone? Welcome to the Rabbit Mind YouTube channel. And today it looks like thank you to NiceHash for showing us some NVIDIA RTX 4080 specs and potential mining hash rates. Looks like this GPU is dropping on November 16th. Now, should you get one? Probably not. All right, guys, so I am over here on the NiceHash blog and we got some NVIDIA RTX 4080 specs and mining hash rate. And it looks like here we got the RTX 4080 will be released on November 16th with an MSRP of pretty much $1,200. That is insane to think about. The 4090 came, you know, like an extra $100 or pretty close to what a 3090 dropped at. But this is over double of what a 3080 dropped at with only about a 30% increase in performance. Now this 30% is like a magic made up number that they seem to do every single generation. So I don't know, are you gonna actually get an extra 30%? No idea, but it's costing twice the cash, so it's probably not worth it. The RTX 4080 will also use 12 pin power connectors. Be careful when overclocking and mining with the stock 12 pin cables, but the 4080's TDP is 130 watts less than the 4090. That's still a lot of power for this type of card. Anyway, so there may not be that many 12 pin adapters melting. They still might be. Note that with the latest NVIDIA drivers, the LHR lock has been completely removed. Now, we did drop you that video as soon as it happened. I did discover that this was happening on an RTX 3060 version 2 after a Reddit post that the drivers removed LHR completely right out of all these GPUs. Here are some RTX 40 specs. So the GPU is an AD103 with 9,728 cores. We got 16 gigabytes of RAM here. 2,205 megahertz of a core clock, 1,400 megahertz mem clock, GDDR6X memory. So some hot suckers yet again, but it is faster. And one of the big debates going on with the latest versions of the AMD GPUs only utilizing GDDR6. Regardless, we got a 256-bit bandwidth here and 22.5 22.4 gigabyte per second of a mem speed and 716.8 gigabytes of bandwidth with a TDP of 320 watts. All right, so who cares about all that? How does this thing hash? Now, this is purely speculation at this point based on, you know, the bus and everything. NVIDIA RTX 4080 mining performance. At the time of writing this article, there are no reports of hash rates. Obviously, nobody has these things yet. Uh, so we can only guess the mining performance based on the specs of the GPU. Based on the specs, comparing to the RTX 4080 to RTX 3080, we can guess that the performance on ETC hash memory intensive algorithms could actually be lower than the 3080s. We guess that the mining performance will be plus minus 10% of the 3080. That is around 90 to 110 mega hash. We will update this article as more information becomes available. Now, most of these memory algorithms are dedicated for um, ASICs at this point. So we don't really care about ETC hash and ETH hash algorithm stuff on GPUs. We are more core based in terms of Kapow algorithms, equal hash algorithms, uh, the Caspa algorithm, that K heavy hash, and so on. These are the numbers that matter now not these memory based coins. So RTX 4080 mining profitability. Well, we don't have any legit hash rates, so we have no idea. We have no idea how much power this is gonna use, so we don't have anything. So you can navigate to their profitability calculator, which has zero factual stats, so it's probably not worth it. Uh, to get the approximate profitability of the RTX 4080, we have added RTX 4080 to our profitability calculator for a more straightforward interpretation. Values might not be correct. Let's just actually see what they're kind of showing us here. What are they guesstimating here for the RTX? So they're saying negative 30 cents. Well, that seems about accurate. Negative. Negative seems right. So yeah, you know, they may be fairly accurate on this because it's not making anything. All right, guys. So thank you for checking out this video. Just some quick specs and potential hash rates of the RTX 4080. Now let me know your thoughts and concerns in the comment section below about this GPU. Are you planning on getting GPUs? Are you done with mining for a while? Crypto is crashing pretty hard at the moment, but this is also to be expected. So let me know everything you guys want to get off your chest in the comment section. I will see you on the next one. Rabbit out.